It's time now for our voice up of the day. Speaking of which, hey, Chops, you remember when Tiffley got your hand? I got his head. Oh, oh, Chops, Chops! Oh, another one bites the Fuck! Hi, everybody. It's your boy Scully here. And I have a series of translations for you! Alright. Jack Dorsey's thread on what his vision of Twitter is, I've translated it. Okay? So, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read out its tweets, and I'm going to translate his tweets in a way that you people might understand. Jack Dorsey, first part of his thread. We are committing Twitter to help increase the collective help, openness, and civility of public conversation, and to hold ourselves publicly accountable towards progress. I may be a retarded idiot savant, but the fact at day's end is as simple as simple can be. Translation. I, Jack Dorsey, and everyone who works for me at Twitter are a coward, treason lovers, we're fools, jackasses, mindless men who would rather listen to his lower head than his upper one, and we're a complete waste of God's time all at once because we shadow ban people for absolutely zero reason what so ever okay part two of a threat why we love instant public global messaging and conversation it's what twitter is and it's why we're here but we didn't fully predict or understand the real world negative consequences we acknowledge that now and are determined to find holistic and fair solutions translation we love silencing conservatives, and we love Islamic cop grabbers who defy the Constitution and work tirelessly to overthrow it. Bottom line, Mr. Dorsey is a liar. And you people had better start seeing that real quick in a very short period of time. Third part of his threat. If you want to improve something, you have to be able to measure it. The human body has a number of indicators of overall health, some very simple, like internal temperature. We know how to measure it, and we know some methods to bring it back in balance. Translation If you want to improve something, you have to be able to rig it. The human body has a number of indicators of overall health, some very simple, like calling bullshit. We know how to measure it, but we will never choose to, because we're retards, and we don't give a shit what the facts are, because we're going to distort them in every which way imaginable. Needless to say, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey admits guilt. Part 4 of his thread. Our friends at Cortico and Social Machines introduced us to the concept of measuring conservative health and cons on actually conversational health. Why did I say conservative like a retard? They came up with four indicators. Shared attention, shared reality, variety of opinion, and receptivity. Read about their work here at their cortical blog. 
Translation. Our friends at DNC, FBI, CIA, DOJ, the Clinton Foundation, and Al-Qaeda introduced us to the concept of lying. They came up with four indicators. Suck Muslim dick, suck donkey peen, suck illegal immigrant dick, and suck our own dicks. Don't badger us. In other words, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey is guilty. Fifth part of his threat. We don't know yet if these are the right indicators of conversational health for Twitter. And we don't yet know how best to measure them. Or the best ways to help people increase individual, community, and ultimately global public health. Translation. We know these are the wrong indicators of how to run a social media site. And we'll never admit it. Because we hate America and all of the people in it. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey is a loser, everyone. He hides his true feelings as always because he is a donkey-brained, beat-off commie. Part 6 of his threat. What we know is we must commit to a rigorous and independently valid set of metrics to measure the health of public opinion on Twitter. And we must commit to sharing our results publicly to benefit all who serve the public conversation. Translation. What we won't know is we must commit to turning ourselves into the police for our countless efforts to overthrow your beloved constitution. And we must commit ourselves to a sanitarium because our brains are full of Bengue and mashed horse dung. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey. And it's guilt. Sight unseen, sound unheard. Part 7 of his thread. We simply can't and don't want to do this alone. So we're seeking help by opening up an RFP process, meaning rigging fucking people, to test the widest net possible for great ideas and implementations. This will take time, and we're committed to providing all the necessary resources. Translation. We simply won't do this alone. So we want you to be our pawns in our chess game. So we can make you all peasants who deserve nothing but a bag of gold for Satanness. Because saying Christmas is illegal now. <laughs> this has taken three years and we're committed to shadow banning you. So, Twitter CEO, Mr. Jack Dorsey, who, by the way, his middle name is also shared with a certain starfish on a popular kids' TV show on Nickelodeon. You want to give up yet, Jack Dorsey? Tough shit. You're too deep in it now. Part 8 of the thread. I think it's either part 7 or part 8. I've lost count by this part. But anyway, next to last part of his thread. We're going to get a lot of feedback on this thread and these ideas. And we intend to work best to learn from and share the ongoing conversations. Vijaya, Mr. Donut, and I will do a Periscope next week to share more details and answer questions. Translation. 
We're going to get a lot of hate on this thread that we pulled out of our asses. And we intend to not work to spite ourselves and share our hatred of America. Vijaya, Mr. Donut, and I, Jack Dorsey, will do a threesome next week to screw you all over. Jack Dorsey, Twitter CEO, is guilty. Last part of his thread. Thanks for taking the time to read and consider. And also, come help us. <laughs> Translation. Thank you for taking the time to read and consider. And also, come all over us. Because we jack off to Barry Soltoro, and we jack off to Bill and Hillary and Chelsea Clinton, and we jack off to Soros, and we jack off to Rob Schild, and Rockefeller, and Warburg, and the rest of the pathetic community of 300, because that's all we do here at Twitter. So, there you have it. Twitter CEO and corporate dick sucker, Jack Patrick Starr Dorsey, is colluding with his butt buddy Mark Zuckerberg to impeach our Constitution. Why? Because you people let it happen! That's why. So everybody, I have one very simple question that has a very simple answer. Whether that's rhetorical or not is not up to me, because my opinion doesn't mean a damn thing. But anyway, I have a question for all of you. Would you like to boycott Twitter? The answer is very clear. It's an obvious, hell yeah! <laughs> but you guys get it, so I don't have to explain it to you. You just know, right? Okay, I'm done with this little rant. I started with everybody's red, 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 fake noise thing. <laughs> What the f- Oh, she- uh, <laughs> Oh, Shame it, man. Enters the finals to replace the Miz allegedly in Crown Jewel and becomes the best in the world. Now this, this YouTube, this, this Wikipedia entry is just so freaking funny, I, I swear to God! <laughs> oh! Born Shane, best in the world, McMahon! January the 15th, 1970, age 48. The worm of the best mother in the world! Residence? Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Here comes the money! Occupation, businessman, the best professional wrestler in the world. He was active. 1998 through present. Net worth, 69 billion! How the hell is that he- <laughs> In your fucking dreams he is! Title. Founder and Vice Chairman of Seven Stars Cloud Group Incorporated. Spouse, Marissa Mazzola, Children 3. Oh my god, I, uh... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the 
Look at the fucking shit down there. Look. Trained by Tom Pritchard, Al Snow, Bill Nurse, Sergeant Slaughter, and Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> and this guy calls himself the best in the world? Oh my god, I, I cannot even fucking, oh, this has got to be some extra level freaking cringe. Oh, I, I swear to god, I, I cannot even describe to you. And by the way, this is not sponsored by Shane Alack himself. But I just, I really don't understand. Why in the hell? It's just, why did they book Shane into the fucking match to start with? Why couldn't they have let Miz finish the match and not have an injury angle involving him? Why? Was he too much of a chicken shit to win that title the best in the world? Because Miz Mizanin, you know, Mike Mizanin deserved it better than Shane O'Mac, I'll tell you that. The only reason why he came back to the company was because his father lurched him back into here and used him as a pawn in another scheme to completely kill professional wrestling, which is what WWE has done since 1982. I cannot stress this enough, people. I watched bits and pieces of last night's Raw as of this recording, and I'm telling you what. This is by far, that episode of Monday Night Raw that I saw last night was by far the worst fucking episode of Raw I have ever seen. Possibly the worst three hours of television in the history of humanity. What the fuck was that? Seriously. What? What the fuck? No, seriously though, what was that? Honest to God, I want to know. Three hours later. And by the way, I'm being completely legitimate. My second Twitter account got suspended permanently. Why? Because I consistently call Jack Dorsey out on his bullshit. Now. Here's what gets me. Here, here's here's what really gets the crap out of me, okay? I translate his entire thread of Twitter posts that he himself made, lying, he lied essentially to all of his people. I called him out on it by translating the nine Twitter posts of the thread that summed up basically his State of the Union or his state of Twitter, or whatever the hell. And I translated every single one of those tweets that he posted regarding what Twitter has become and what he's allowed it to become. Apparently, he took offense to that because he doesn't accept any truths known to man because he doesn't know what the truth is anymore because his mind is full of shit. So he suspends me. So this is the appeal letter that I wrote on Twitter's appeal suspension page. Mr. Dorsey, you don't get it, do you? I have exposed, am exposing as we speak, and will continue to expose the truth for exactly what it is. And yet, even with all this crushing evidence hanging over your head like the dark cloud it is, you won't accept the truth for exactly what it is. And because of that sheer willingness to put all of your eggs in the Hillary Clinton-laced, Barack Obama-faced Easter basket, your social media plantation is going out of business. I win, Jack Patrick Star Dorsey. You lose. Good luck getting out of this one. Because like it or not, you won't. And with that, I'll see you in the Supreme Court to file charges against you.
for violating the Constitution and the First Amendment privileges of myself and about 63 million other people in just these United States alone. So, have fun with your Hitler parade while you're still able to pack trick star Jack Dorsey. It's not going to last much longer. After all, you are the one who, alongside your buck buddies Mark Zuckerberg, Noah Glass, Evan Williams, and Ben Stone, sold your soul to Lucifer for nothing on the dollar, aren't you? Anyway, I will say nothing further than a conclusion to the impending case of the United States of America versus Twitter. Thank you for reading this message, and have a splendid rest of your day. Goodbye. Yours immortally, the man who will expose your shadow banning hopes for what it is, the man who you assume to be a robot but never is, was, or will be, and the man who will be responsible for your justified and total downfall, yours truly, Kevin the Skull Anderson. See, here's the thing. They want you to focus in SoCal where there's a club shooting so you don't see the voter fraud here in Broward County. What part of rigged election system do you not understand? <laughs> and, and meanwhile, you're listening to Lady Gaga. You know, man, piss off. You guys are just freaking... If you guys don't see the voter fraud going on in Broward County, you truly are deserving of everything that the Democrats are going to do to you. Because I'm not going to do it to you, but they are. And it's going to be perfectly justified because you stupid jackasses voted for these retarded idiots. I'm now for our cringe moment of the day! <laughs> well, fuck my day! How about... No. <laughs> Oh my god. This in from Facebook's The Conservative Jew. My god, man. How accurate is this? <laughs> when you realize most adults in the world still read this symbol, the tic tac toe sign, as pound, and you named your women's movement against sexual harassment, pound me too. <laughs> oh my god, man. Holy shite! Can, can just just look at look at that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! Damn! I I got a nice laugh out of that. Let me tell you. I can't believe I'm having to explain this to you people. But, warning alert, okay? Spoiler alert and warning. The accurate, albeit grotesque, summary of the entire presidencies of Carter, Bush's 43 and 41, and Obama combined, incoming. Spoiler alert, most definitely on the horizon as will be seen plain as day for anyone to allow themselves to fully fathom.
I don't need to tell you this, but you already know, so let's get started. Before I show you this picture, by the way, I, I should let you know this is definitely NSFW, without question. But it's also a very hilarious, mind you, a very accurate reminder of the jackasses in the demon rap party that we elected to serve us, or rather, to disserve us. Notice how I use that, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, fuck it. The point I'm trying to make is, this video sums up the entirety of democracy post-1812 in a nutshell. This was a photograph taken by Korean pop star Psy. You know, the guy who came up with, Oh, but Gangnam Style! Oh, oh, you know that guy. He posted a picture of a South Korean monument that is so grotesquely accurate that I cannot do anything to put to words how accurate and historically correct this really is. Because this, this is like half of America in a nutshell who voted for Obama and McCain. They voted for... They voted for Nixon! Yeah! They voted for Hillary Clinton! Yeah! But it didn't get them anywhere, did it? Okay. Now this is the picture in question. Oh my god! What the fuck is that? Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, I am very sorry that you had to hear that. I'm sorry. Not even the tiniest little bit. Wow! If you were one of those 63 million people who were fortunate enough to vote Donald John Trump into the presidency, then guess what that means? Jesus Christ.